Hello, day one of the Maldives. So we've been tired. We've been tired. Yeah, oh, mega tired. Oh. Uh, as I you can see. I didn't know where I was actually. Did you not? No, I had no idea. The bed's so comfortable. No, I heard a thing. I thought there was a band playing, but I think it's the AC unit in the room. Sorry about the wind. If there's a bit of wind, we we just had some lunch, and we're currently Delicious. sitting on some water swings at the moment, oh as you can God, see. Like can't can't even dip, I can't even cope with yeah. how beautiful this place is. Oh no. It's just so it's um as you can see from the water where the lines that's where the water the tides out at the moment. So we're just sitting here like this absolutely bleeding gorge. This is the swing and then there we've got a sandbar which we're probably gonna adventure up tomorrow. But are you happy? Oh yeah. I'm really happy. Look at it. Wow. What I want to see now is apparently you can see little baby black teeth. Black teeth. Teeth? Black tip sharks and stingrays and that just floating around. It's so you can see all the These are the Sangu water villas. I think they just go right up there. We have no. the best room. Yeah, we do. Ever. Also, the room's a bit of a mess at the moment because we've just unpacked. We don't want to show you it dirty. We need to sort out a few things because we couldn't find anything. And we'll show you probably a little bit later, won't we? But we're going to be doing a hotel review. Would have come out before this video anyway. So for anyone who has seen our room tour, we'll put a timestamp in a little bit while, won't we? So we're just going to walk around the island and have a little look, I guess. The bliss! And just it dip our feet. Paradise. Yeah, and it's then just dip, dip her feet in the water like this. Well, look at it. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Give me a push. I'm not giving you a push. Just paddle your feet. You'll build up power when you just... Whoop. Oh, when the tide comes in, you'll reach. Anyway, right. We will catch up with you in a little bit, I think. Let's do some exploring. Just walking along. Nice beach, wildlife. If anyone's worried about the seaweed on the shore, it's a good sign. It means it's a sign of a healthy beach, isn't it? Uh, clean beach. Clean beach, yeah. that's it. So, still walking. Going to find, going to find me some ice cream. James loves his ice cream. For anyone who doesn't know, watched before, I love it. So we're still having a little explore. When you're walking along the front, it's a little bit hard to find your beach. <laughs> Villa, isn't it? Yeah, you need to go behind in the garden areas where the numbers are because you could easily get lost and enter into someone else's beach villa, which you can't do anyway because your room key. But yeah. yeah, and also your room key is your band on your arm. Okay. Yeah, show them yours. Yeah, so that's your room key, and that's to tell you what uh, all-inclusive package you got as well. Yeah. So yeah. So pretty good we'll tell you tell you a bit more about that later so where we've just walked down at the moment is all your little gift shops you've got your paddy diving center down there. just going to go in here and have a look we're just going to show you the paddy center while we're here obviously you've got the marine center just there and this is a marine center where they have boards so you can do snorkeling with mantas they do other sort of trips you can do obviously sightings are not guaranteed other informations on the board like that for you as well and i've got the actual paddy center for you to have a look where you can rent snorkel equipment you can rent flippers you can rent your life jackets and everything like else in here um i have information on the atolls and everything so it's quite nice in here me and nelly had a relaxing day earlier however we didn't show you our beach villa thing we got so i'm going to show you now i thought you'd be able to see the room number but you oh you can just about it's just on there it's room number 128 it's a beachfront jacuzzi villa
Beach villa. Oh, yeah, it was, beach villa. it was an O, and then they said we had an O beach villa, which, which was somewhere on the map. Oh, where is the map? Right. So, first of all, we'll give you the room tour. This is the island map. So, the O beach villa we were supposed to be in was supposed to be around here, uh, this bit here, all along here. And we, we requested 300s over here without a obstruction view to the Indian Ocean, or well, one of the best views. And they said, basically, well, I'll tell you in a minute, they just gave us a free upgrade to a Jacuzzi Beach Villa, which is a few hundred pound more, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's quite a bit more. So. But um, yeah, all the rooms have recently, or well, they're being renovated. So, um, yeah. Ta -da. Oh, also the hotel normally has about 800 guests. Yeah. In the hotel, because of the pandemic. They only, opened, running, they only opened on November 1st. Yeah, and they're running at 20% capacity at the moment. Yeah. So there's technically, there's only 160 guests in the hotel at the moment. So it's like we've got our own island. Honestly, I've seen about five people today, that is about it. Yeah, it's mental. Yeah, five. and it's the second largest island in the Maldives. Yeah, so let's show them. Obviously, you can see the bed. Yeah, massive, it's so comfortable. And the it's best so thing is... Um, and we've got mosquito nets, which is... Very handy for moi. Yeah, you've been bitten, haven't you? Been Show me where you've been bitten. I've been bitten already. Oh, Can't really nasty. see that one. That one's not too bad, actually. It's been a couple of hours. And there's USB plugs on the sides of the bed, or especially left-hand side and of the bed. And there's little lights. Oh, I didn't realise I was reading lights. Nice. So you've got a mirror comes in standard with your room, a hair dryer. Where did you get that? No, it's in this actually. You got that from somewhere. Oh, they give you a torch here, because at night time, obviously, there's no light in the room. No, there's light in the room, but it's just outside yeah. of the room. Yeah, there's UK plug sockets in the room. So anyone traveling here from in the UK, you do not need travel adapters. So I'll show you a UK plug. So you've got one here, and then obviously the kettle. That's a three pin UK plug. Anyone else come from other European countries would need to buy a travel adapter for the rooms, but for us, it's really handy. Yeah. Um, we've got, so we've got tea and coffee making facilities. We've got a kettle. We've got some, we don't really understand how, we don't really understand how, what we get included with the mini bar and stuff like that. No. So we'll, we'll find out tomorrow and we'll let you know. Because we're an all inclusive, but we've got a mini bar fridge so and we've got a coffee machine set. with all your little pods. We don't know if that's included yet, do we? You get water. Yep. Um, and then what's really good about this hotel is they don't have any plastic bottles. So if you want to, if you want water, they will just give it to you from the glass bottle. But if you yeah. did want to carry a bottle around, they give you these little thing, these little. You've got to pay six dollars for them. Yeah, so to keep, obviously. Keep them, so. Yeah, and then a mini fridge. They're giving us a list saying anything that's on the list here you can pay, but I'm not sure because everything's in dollars. So there's loads of different. We have no idea. How I mean, you can. I think you can order wines and all that kind of stuff. But show you the mini bar fridge. We'll find out more because this is obviously our first day today. So I'm pretty sure the soft drinks are free, like the Coke, Sprite, Fanta, Red Bull. I think you have to pay for. Carling. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. Local beer. Yeah, and then them soft drinks. So we're not too sure on that the moment. After sun did not come with the fridge. No. no and we have obviously a little seating area here, which is awesome. Andy. Then we have um, mirror with wardrobe and safe yeah so as you can see we've already unpacked safe's actually really good size you can fit laptop and stuff in yeah there. we've got all that all stuff in there already pretty much um hair dryer get a hair dryer comes in the room it's not the best of hair dryers but it well, still dry. dries your, your hair still pretty dry yeah it's still a little bit damp underneath so it's not too bad and the best bit is outdoors let's go through to the world of narnia mm. here we go this is the outdoor bathroom area. So we have the lovely throne. This you sit on. You have a stack where your towels are. Obviously we've showered in that already. And you have your... Look how bright red my face is. Oh my God. I've only been out in the sun two hours today. Oh, it is strong. Yeah. Um, we'll tell you a bit more about that in a minute. Obviously his and her sink. Got all our toiletries. And then you've got a nice outdoor shower area. This is where you wash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you've got a We've got a clothesline here. Which is always really handy because you end up using the bath. 
was like yeah I didn't realise there was a light under here as well, look, and because it's, let me just put our light on, it's a bit better. Let's get like you an got, outdoor day bed. Yeah, outdoor day bed you can lay on if you don't want to go out in the sun. And then we've got a jacuzzi, jacuzzi. Which is what we didn't have with the villa that we originally booked. So we wouldn't have had any of this, we would have literally just had the outdoor bathroom. Yeah, it would so, have stopped at the shower, wouldn't it? Yeah, we're going to, we are going to use this, aren't we? Yeah, too right we are. One night, not tonight, because we need an early night, because yeah, we haven't really slept in right. 24 hours. Um, yeah, we're going to start here. So we're we've been outside. We had a little kip earlier, we told you. We didn't actually get out to the beach until about half two, yeah. I believe, after lunch. And I've been in the sun, I think, two hours. And look two at my face. Hours, look, yeah. I put factor 30 on my face, and I think, what is the point? Because I sweat it off. And then I just get burnt anyway, wherever I go. I go really brown, you'll see. I've seen a few vlogs time. That he literally has to look at the sun for like five minutes and his face is brown. Yeah. Yet my face just takes forever. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Oh, and also, there's a barefoot island around here. Uh, they say you're a little bit overdressed if you wear trainers out to a restaurant. Oh, so you can literally shoes. walk in barefoot. Yeah, yeah shoes. Because all, because all the restaurants, literally from the moment you leave your room, you're on the sand. The restaurants all are in the sand. sand. Yeah. Literally the whole island is just... Yeah, yeah, it's all in, isn't it? So they so, said to us, yeah, if you're, if you're wearing shoes, you're overdressed. Yeah. So I'm kind of wearing shoes. Which I don't need to. So I'm wearing, going barefoot to the restaurant, which is really abnormal for me. I never do it, but we're going to go out and have a dinner now. We're just showing you what the night sky is like in the Maldives at the moment. Can't see you. Hang on. There you go. See you now. Beautiful. Just walking to the restaurant where them lights are is where yeah, our dinner's going to be. A little walk and then maybe to another bar later or sit and watch the sunset. We don't know yet, do we? Sunset, sunset. Oh, freaking. No, I mean. We've just gone into the restaurant and it's a, is it Indonesian night? Yeah. Indonesian night tonight. So I've got tuna, reef fish, basmati rice, rosemary potatoes. It's reef fish pot with spicy with... potatoes. Yeah, and some broccoli. And Ellie's got Similar. pretty much the same as yeah. me, haven't you? So... We're eating at the Sangu restaurant. Bon we? Ellie didn't tell you, we're eating at the Sangu restaurant because there's a villa we're in. We should be eating at the O restaurant, but we're not. We're saying that eating at the Sangu because um, because of the low capacity in the hotel, there's only two restaurants open, isn't there? The Sangu and the Kambu? Comus. Comus restaurant, that's it. So, gonna tuck in and bon appetit. Walking back to the hotel room, we've got this little guy. Where's he going? Where's he going, where's he going? <laughs> it's proper quick. So we've just eaten our dinner and we're Delicious. going for a walk. Um, it's a bit hard to see where we're going at the moment. You can put your torch on as well, in case we're trading a crab. Um, we're walking from one side. We've been walking for about half an hour. I know. Actually, and we still anyway. haven't even got to one end of the island yet. And we're trying to walk to the golf course. We've got a six hole golf course. You can play 18 rounds. It does cost. 18. Eighteen holes even, sorry, not rounds. Oh, a bit forever. delirious. Just to see if you can play golf at night, which would be pretty interesting. Yeah. I think. It's um it's just very quiet. Oh it's it is. It's like we've got the island to ourselves. Yeah, it's only select like a few people here, isn't there? Yeah, not everyone comes out of their room, I swear. No. So, so like a lot of you find a lot of people sat out on their terrace, like on their Yeah, in their room just sitting there, yeah, don't just they? There. Um we're going to have an earlier night tonight because we're yeah, shattered. We only had four hours sleep. So we're going to, hopefully the golf course is lit up because we, we're both going to be doing it in a couple of days. Yep. Tomorrow we're going to be booking some trips to find out more information about what we can and can't have in our rooms. Oh, what we can drink. General, yeah. The whole island. We haven't had a lot of information today. Just no, but I think they didn't want to bombard well, us because we'd had such a long flight. And tired as well. We got to the hotel and checked in and stuff. Yeah. It was about 24 hours since we'd been up. Yeah, exactly. So I think they were just like, relax today. Yeah, I'm a bit I'm conscious I look like fucking Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer at the moment. <laughs> I'm so hot. <laughs> it's allied this face. Yeah, I am. It's hot. It's really it hot. It's really about 30 muggy. odd degrees. I'm actually sweating. They also have a full-size football pitch on this island as well, which oh, we're going to have to show you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll have to show you on the camera during the day. I mean, night time. I doubt it'll be open, but oh. you've got all the nice little frogs and everything making noises i think this might be oh golf club here we go i don't think it's open but we're gonna go have a look i'm knackered that's all i can say <laughs> we just walked back it took us oh it was 15 minutes from the golf club oh, I did so yeah it's still quite a bit of a walk though so the golf club wasn't open they do advertise we can play no. night golf unlimited for like 18 dollars 
each, but I think where's just low capacity at the moment. I think we'll find it's out about happening. it tomorrow. And, uh... Yeah, we've got a welcome meeting. Before this video went out, we did a hotel review. Obviously, we did that later on during the week. Yeah which I'm not even there yet, but we want the hotel reviewer had to go before this because we want to help people be able to choose a hotel yeah. and everything. So we're going to gain loads of information and one night just film it, but it's beautiful around the resort oh, at night. It's stunning. It's gorgeous. You sit here little, I think there's little frogs in the bushes. Bats. Um, fruit bats, which are a massive just, one. Like, they're massive. Yeah. They are like this. Freaking who? They are ginormous. Yeah, we saw them in Mauritius when we were there two years ago in 2018. They weren't that big though. Yeah, they were quite big at night. No? Yeah. So we're absolutely <laughs> shattered, four hours sleep and it's half nine, but we're gonna, we need to catch up on some sleep so we can enjoy. Want to get some night lapses, Yeah. see a sunrise, do the sunset bar and everything. There's loads to do on the island. Um, loads of different activities that they do mm. that we're going to take part in. Mm -hmm. but obviously, being our first day, it's just shattering, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you for joining along. Yeah. I, and I hope you enjoy. Oh, I hope you say that again. Yeah. It's all right. Thank you for joining along. <laughs> if you had too much to drink. I had nothing to drink. <laughs> if, you, if we join on it on. Oh, you can say I'm so it tired. Then. Thank well, you so much for watching. We hope yeah. you've enjoyed our first day in the Maldives. Yeah, and obviously if you like it, smash that like button because it does help our channel. Anyone who's new who's not subscribed, hit the subscribe button for us. We'd greatly appreciate it. And leave us a and comment down in there. Yeah, if you want to know if you're booking to come to the Maldives or anything, just let us know. We like reading comments it's nice isn't it and also remember to ring the notification bell so you know when our videos go up i know what i say every day <laughs> or i said it last couple of days but join us next week at 6 p.m for a premiere next sunday for 6 p.m gmt time yeah for a premiere for day two of the maldives and we'll see you soon see you soon bye, bye.